Hey gearheads, welcome back to this here, your channel, Air Cooled Industries. Today we will be performing an oil change on a 1971 1600 Volkswagen Bug. So join us, here are the tools you will need to perform this job. You will need an oil change pan gasket kit, a blade, a 10 millimeter screwdriver type socket, brake cleaner or parts cleaner, three quarts of oil, a funnel and a rag. Let's get started by jacking up the car. Use a factory jack point to lift the car, then use a jack stand and secure it to the torsion bar. Once the car is secured on both sides, it's time to get underneath. Use your 10mm socket and in a start pattern begin to undo the nuts. Oil will begin to drip out, so be prepared, it can get a little messy in here. Once the oil has dripped out, uh, sometimes if you're lucky you can just wiggle out the sump plate like we did here um, But sometimes you have to use a flat screwdriver because it gets really stuck go ahead and remove your oil screen and Then sometimes this gasket here can get really stuck on so this is where you might want to use your blade But we got very lucky here as you guys can see and it's just coming right off Which is pretty awesome doesn't happen all the time um, and at this time you just want to let the oil drip out let it, let it sit there for a while minute or two and it's probably even a good time to go ahead and grab a beer nice cold one at this time it's a good idea to clean your oil screen and sump plate while at the same time looking for any signs of damage give it a good visual inspection making sure that it has no ribs or big pieces of metal in it as that can be a sign that there is something seriously going on inside your engine Use your parts cleaner to help you clean up any stubborn oil that just doesn't want to come off. You really want to have a good, clean surface for the new gaskets later. At this time, it's a really good idea to spend a few minutes down here just to make sure you're cleaning the surface where your new gasket is going to be living. Um, you want to go ahead and remove any old material that's still on there using your blade or even your flathead screwdriver to scrape it all off. Um, spending some good time here now is going to help you down the line um, because you don't want to be dripping oil everywhere because you didn't do a good job cleaning the surface right here. Once everything is clean and ready to go, you're ready to start by putting in your first gasket. Once it's in there, you want to go ahead and take your oil strainer and put that next. Make sure it goes in there nice. Uh, you want to take your second gasket and then you take your oil sump and Sandwich everything together nice and tight. Make sure it's all in there in place. Uh, your kit will include these little copper washers. You want to go ahead and use these uh, new ones. You do not want to use your old ones. Um, just go ahead and start one so the sump plate stays in place. Uh, and just, just you want to do this all by hand. Do not use any tools at this point. Just go ahead and start by hand uh, and work your way around it in a start pattern um, and then at this point you want to go ahead and, and use that special tool we were talking to you guys about earlier um, the reason why we use this little hand socket um, tool is because it's very easy to strip and damage these studs down here and usually all you need is your hands torque that, that's all you need. You just need it to be snug. You don't, you don't want to over tighten these because it's very easy to strip. Um, so take your time and remember, start pattern because you want everything to sit flush. So once you have the sump plate securely uh, bolted down, it's time to move on top and pour your oil in. So you go ahead and remove your oil cap and you want to go ahead and use a funnel. I highly recommend it. Um, a standard Volkswagen engine will only take three quarts of oil. Uh, here we're using a 20W50 oil that's highly recommended by our local Volkswagen shop. Um, so go ahead and just pour those in. No rush. Uh, once it's all done, you go ahead and recap your filler neck. You're almost done. Here's a quick tip. Every time I change my oil, I like to do this. Um, I like to disconnect my main lead coming from the coil 
um, off my distributor. And the reason why I do this is because I like to turn my engine over, uh, get that new oil circulating through the engine, get into all, all the system. Um, and the reason why I do that is so when I crank the engine, um, the car won't start. It, it'll just create oil pressure. And you'll see here as we're cranking the engine, the idiot light on your right is your oil pressure light. And as soon as that pretty much comes off, it means you have oil pressure in the system. And then you go ahead and reinsert it. And you're almost done. Go ahead and safely bring your car back to the ground. Once that is done on both sides, it's time to start it up. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please like, share, and comment, and let us know if you have any tips when you do your oil change.